Welcome to Porn Talk and the Porn Habit. Reclaim your power. Learn from Eric's mistakes and get empowered now. Let's join Powerful Eric. Welcome to the Porn Talk Powercast. This is Powerful Eric. Too fap or not too fap? That is the question. What the heck is fap or fapping? If you're watching this or listening to this, you probably have an idea of what fap or fapping is. Fapping is masturbating. And fap is the sound that some people make when they masturbate. Fap, 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 fap. (laughs) Well, I was just coaching someone from Pakistan. And last week, I was contacted by a man in India. We are truly in the global village. And my point in breaking that up is that this addiction is a global challenge. There are people all around the world that are struggling with sex and porn addiction. In fact, the University of Montreal many years ago attempted to do a study on pornography. And they had to abandon the study because they could not find a control group. A control group is a group of people that are not doing the thing. So at the University of Montreal, they could not find a group of people that were not actively using pornography. If you are feeling like you're a pervert or a weirdo or a freak, well, you're not. (laughs) You are a normal person who is choosing to overcome stress, anxiety, anger, whatever, with pornography. Now, it may not have been a conscious choice, but in essence, that's what it is. In fact, for myself, for years, I acted out with pornography without really knowing why. Why are you acting out to pornography? But my point is that you're not alone. You are not alone. This is a global challenge. You're not a freak. You're not a pervert. No, some of you may be. (laughs) But that's a different story. But my point is you're not alone. Don't feel that way. You're, I'm sure, if you're watching this, you're a good person. You're trying to improve yourself. You're trying to better yourself. When I was on the coaching call from the man from Pakistan, he asked me, or I was asked the question if there's healthy porn use, or healthy use of masturbation. Let's start with masturbation, or fap, or fapping. Masturbation is completely normal and natural. Even animals in the, in the wild kingdom do it. Monkeys do it. So it's completely normal, natural. There's nothing wrong with it. Now, if you're like me, I could go hours. I can burn days with it. So... If you bring it to an extreme, then not so healthy, not so good. You can bring anything to an extreme. You know you can bring, you can actually drink too much water. Now, most of us have the opposite problem of not drinking enough, but you can drink too much water. You can do too much of anything. Same thing with fapping or masturbating. There can be too much. Have you masturbated to the point where you actually hurt yourself? I know I have. And what about pornography? Is there a healthy use of pornography? Many, many, many episodes back, I had on Angela Skirtu. She is a sex positive sex therapist here in St. Louis. And we were talking about the healthy use of pornography. And yes, there can be a healthy use of porn. But what was brought up with my coaching call with a man from Pakistan is that where does your pornography come from? Who is making your pornography? Were they both consenting adults? Or was it something from sex trafficking? That's a whole other arena. So you have to make up your own mind whether you can use pornography healthfully. If you're like me, though, I start and I can't stop. I can go hours All day, I call it burning days. I've burned countless days viewing and masturbating to pornography. How about you? 
Here's a question for you. How does porn and masturbation affect your sex life? Are you still able to get it up? A lot of men now have porn-induced erectile dysfunction, or ED. The largest growing segment of the population that takes the little blue pill is 20-year-olds because they grew up with internet pornography. And when they get with a real woman, they are unable to perform. I'm actually working with one of my clients right now who has that exact thing, porn-induced erectile dysfunction. However, the good news is after a short time of our work together, he is able to successfully perform again. And when talking about the healthy use of porn or masturbation or fap or fapping, I want to make one point very clear is that not to be filled with shame. Shame is toxic. Shame is what drove me and continued to drive me to act out with pornography. Drop the shame. Try to take a step back. Look at your situation from a more neutral standpoint. That's a lot easier said than done. But yes, there is a healthy, definitely a healthy use of masturbation. There can be a healthy use of pornography, perhaps maybe to spice up the bedroom in your marriage, perhaps. And my wife actually was not opposed to me watching pornography. She wasn't at all. But I had trouble with it. She didn't realize the extent of my problem, that I could go hours or all day viewing pornography when I should have been doing other things. How about you? And if and speaking of marriage, that's one other thing to consider. Do you have a significant other that you are having sex with? I found that if I master even if I wasn't viewing pornography, if I was masturbating and then I had sex with my wife, I found that the sex wasn't as fulfilling. And boy, if I completely stopped, when I completely stopped masturbating, oh my gosh, wow. I found what sex was really supposed to be like. I mean, for real, sex with my wife brought on a whole new meaning. It was mind-blowing when I stopped masturbating. So I stopped the porn but that I was still masturbating. And then I went on and off. When I stopped masturbating, wow. Sex with my wife was fantastic. My orgasms were out of this world. Ultimately, it's your decision. Do you want to continue to use porn? Do you want to continue to masturbate? If so, how are you going to do that? So to fap... Or not to fap? That is the question. I chose ultimately at the end to not fap. But that is not the right answer. It's not the wrong answer. It's whatever works for you. This is Powerful Eric signing off saying, You are designed for accomplishment. You are engineered for success. And you are endowed with the seeds of greatness. Be great. Be powerful, folks. Thanks for listening. If you're struggling with porn or sex addiction, then contact Eric at PowerfulEric.com. To get a free copy of my audiobook, Everything You Know About Sex and Porn Addiction is Wrong, The 21 Myths About Sex and Porn Addiction, send me an email, subject, free book, to eric at PowerfulEric.com. That's right. Get 100% free my audiobook, Everything you know about sex and porn addiction is wrong. Email me, eric at